Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the binary search tree to greater sum tree problem from Lead Code and the number for this is 1038. So in the given problem, we have a root of a binary search tree and we have to convert it into a greater tree such that every key of the original BST is changed to the original key plus the sum of all the keys that are greater than the original key in the BST. So what is a greater tree? A greater tree is a tree in which the uh, key will be changed to the sum of all the keys that are greater than the original key plus the original key itself. Like suppose uh, we have 5 here. 5. Let's say we have 5. So all the what are the keys that are greater than 5? So we have 6, 7, 8, so 6 plus 7 plus 8 becomes 21 and when we add 5 to it, it becomes 26. So the for this particular tree BST key 5, the greater, greater tree key would be 26 because as we know, the greater tree key will be the sum of original key plus the sum of all the keys greater than the original key. So, since we know that the given structure is a binary search tree, so we have a fact that for a particular node, all the nodes that are on the right side will be greater than the particular nodes and we will find the greatest node in the rightmost, uh, rightmost branch. So, what we can do? Uh, instead of starting from the left let's say we start from the traversal from the right because if we start from the right we'll start from the right we encounter 8 we have no no element greater than 8 so for this particular 8 key the greater greater tree key will be also 8 so yes we have done it so for 8 it is 8 then as we move ahead we we maintain a sum variable so when we move to 7, we already have 8 in the sum and we add the 7 to it. Then we again move ahead to the root. Then we call, uh, then we get 6. We add 6 to 15. It becomes 21. Now we'll call for the left. So how we are doing the calling? First we are calling for the right. Then we are calling for the root. Then we are calling for the left. So how the flow actually goes? Suppose we start at 4 call for right goes to 6 we are at 6 call for right goes to 7 we are at 7 call for right goes to 8 now when we come to 8 we don't have a right we don't have a root we have the root we do not have the left so what it does add 8 to the sum move to the root moves to the root uh, we already have moved to the right for here so we'll check for the left we do not have a left move to the root okay we come to 6 we check for the left we have a left so okay move to the left and then move to the root so this is how we are going to uh, uh, traverse the problem this is a sort of reverse in order traversal because we are moving first to the right then then to the left and uh, not in order we can say yeah this is a type of in order but in reverse order first we move to the right then root then left so let me show you how the answer we got current node is first we move to the right till 8 then we move back to 7 here 8 was already stored in the sum now 7 will be stored it becomes 15 when we move to 6 we encounter 6 we add 6 to 15 the previous sum so it becomes 21 then we move to the left the previous sum was 21 we add 5 it becomes 26 then we move to 4 previous sum was 26 we add 4 it becomes 30 and similarly we'll do for the left subtree as well and this is how we are going to get the answer now let's come to the coding section but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel so first of all we'll need a sum variable to calculate the recurring sum while we are traversing in the tree and so this is 
a sort of traversal so first we check if root is not null equal to null so if root is not equal to null what we were doing we were first calling it the bst to get for the right part of the root so call for the right okay then what we were doing just simply sum up the root dot val so the value at root include it in the sum and uh, then uh, we have to change the key with the sum so the root dot val will be changed with the sum itself and then simply call for the left part so we have the right root left bst to g get sorry gst this is gst this becomes root dot left and afterwards return the root let's try to see if this passes the test cases sample ones this is gst so sample test cases are passed let's run for the hidden test cases as well so it passes the hidden test cases with a good time complexity and a good, good memory complexity as you know so the time complexity for this is o of n where n is the number of nodes in the bst because we visit each node exactly once during the traversal and the space complexity is o of n in worst case because of the recursion stack that we are using in case we have a skew tree which is only moving in one direction then in worst case we would have o of n otherwise it is the o of height of the tree the space complexity i'm talking about you can also check the c++ python and javascript solution by going into the solutions panel and then check this solution this one is posted by me here you can find the intuition approach step by step explanation the complexity the java code you can see the c++ code python code and javascript code so the basic concept remains the same how we traverse the tree only the code according to the syntax is changed so if you know the logic you can write the code in your own particular language and yes do remember to upvote me so i hope you understood the logic do like the video share it with your friends subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel thank you for watching the video have a nice day